Welcome to an exciting day that Jazz and I are going on. We are in the... Where'd it go? We're in the Reunion District area and we're going to be going to the K. Bailey Hutcherson Convention Center. We are going to the Dallas Fan Expo. So we're going to see Funko Pops, comic books, celebrities, voice actors, everything from anime to Disney related, all that in between we get to do today. Are you excited? I'm excited. Hopefully I find some cool stuff. She's looking for some cool stuff. I'm just looking for my autographs that I get to experience today. And then after that, the world is our palm tree. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. They do have some panels. They do have all day activities from Dungeons and Dragons. You can go play that. They have a Voodoo Ranger lounge. But you have to be 21 and up. Are you 21 and up? Well, I guess I'll go and she won't. <laughs> but you get beer and you can play pinball in there. It's supposed to be really cool. I kind of did a sneak peek at some of the panels that are going on. Might creep into one one or two of those. But, yeah, let's uh, start our walk over to the convention center. All right, so in the shade, almost there. Within the expo, they had a couple of exclusive Funko Pops like South Park, some marble. They also had a couple of Star Trek exclusive pops and some soda pops, some drinking glassware, a couple of lanyards. They also had some comic books and like exclusive t-shirts you could have got. Okay guys, so we made it to the autograph area. It took a while to get here. It is very busy, very crowded, but we made it here. Okay, so they kicked me out of the line, Rosario. So now I'm shopping. Shop shopping. It's super crowded here. I got Kate the the replica Kill Bill sword one year for her birthday. Okay. Yeah. These are wood. I know. Like that one. Or the house. There's some oil over here. The pizza paddles. Look, that's our photo. Guess who's who?
Did you find something? Did you find something sweet? Somebody must have been one of Jack. Here, I got it. Hold on. Let's get some sweets. Okay, we found lounge flies. They don't start dying down here. Blue's Clues. Star Wars. Some villains down there. There's more Star Wars over there. There's a, the Boba Fett one. You see it? The Boba Fett. That's a cool dress park one. Here's your book one. I know, I was looking at the book one. <laughs> Scare games for monsters. Yes, of course. They have more inside? Yeah. I'm gonna go look inside. Okay. they'd have more pinball. Look, the beer garden. I thought they'd have more pinball than that. No one's even playing. After a little bit, me and Jess stepped outside to hang out for a little bit. Um, as you can see, there were a lot of people just hanging around, cooling down. Um, the exhibit area, as you can see, was very crowded. Um, within out here, they had a stage that held events as well. At one point, they had a Disney sing-along, and at the very back is where you could buy the exclusive merch or just pick up merch you've already bought. day we were at fan expo from about 11 to about 6 30 and i wanted to share what we picked up thoughts pointers so if you guys ever go to any of the fan expos especially in the dallas fort worth area you guys know what to expect and how to kind of plan accordingly so first and foremost it was a long day. Fan Expo started at 10. I wanted to get there right at opening, but I decided to go for a run that morning, so it kind of put us behind a little bit. Hey, it's all good. We made it there at 11, and 
I had pre-bought our tickets to enter. Super easy to enter whenever you pre-buy your tickets and everything. They have advanced ticket sales and they're normally about $15-$20 uh, less than if you bought it after the pre-sale date or at the door. And they're normally Friday, Saturday, and Sunday single entry tickets, weekend passes, or all day uh, event passes. And of course if you're a vendor and everything, you can also um, buy booth areas there, show off your wares, and then also get you know your pass to walk around. Um, I know whenever we lived in Florida, I would volunteer at some of these cons, so volunteering is also a good way to get, you know, your community hours, but also get a leg into getting into these fan expos. But what I want to tell you guys is get your tickets in advance. It makes things so much easier. So you get a QR code. We scanned in QR code, and we went through security. They did a bag check. Um, they allow you to carry backpacks in, so as you see in the video, I'm carrying a backpack. It was holding all our Funkos that we wanted signed. Any other merch that we ended up getting, we put in there, and it also uh, held some water because it's like almost an arm and a leg for water or beverages there, and so we wanted to make sure that we had something to stay hydrated with. They didn't frown upon any of that. Um, as a matter of fact, I've seen a lot of people come through with their bags and everything, so key, bring a backpack to carry your merch around in and to carry some water in so that you will at least have something to drink through at least half of the con. Um, but we ended up, in the past, it was wristbands that you got, colored wristbands for the day. This time, they actually had badges. And this is what our badge ended up looking like. Of course, here's the back. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. Well, our badge was for Saturday. Um, Dead Man's Hand, No Rest for the Wicked. I have no idea if this is a video game, comic book company, or anything like that. You guys will have to tell me if you know what this is referencing and everything. But when you scan the QR code um, to get in, you'll go in and they'll give you a badge. And they're like, okay. Go scan and activate your badge. Super easy. You activated your badge, and then as soon as you went through the line, they scanned and you were in. Um, they did sell lanyards. I didn't want to buy a $5 lanyard. Some people uh, who have done this in the past had lanyards for previous years that they would just hook onto this. Uh, I just kept mine in my pocket. For you to go out, you had to scan out. I think it was to keep um, track of crowd control as well as if you wanted to get back in um, you had to rescan it and everything but yeah the badge real nice uh, souvenir um, definitely will be keeping this to add to my collection we got there at 11 and I had tickets to see um, Rosario Dawson she is for some of you guys known from uh, playing in Clerks 2 with uh, Jane Silent Bomb, which um, both those actors were there at the con. Um, basically, the whole Clerks 2 cast was there. So, if you are a big Clerks fan, you could uh, meet and greet them. But I had autograph to get a Funko signed by Rosario Dawson and with the whole Ahsoka series getting announced and coming out in August, her being in Haunted Mansion is supposed to release sometime within the next coming months. Don't worry, I definitely will be going to see that. Um, her line was crazy and there were other celebs there like um, Hayden Christensen. He was there aka Anakin slash Darth Vader. He was there, but they had him in a completely separate area because A, they didn't want people crowding that area, trying to catch a glimpse, taking photos of him. Um, and of course his line was going to be super long. He sold out twice for autographs and photo ops. Twice. So, 
they separated him, and then the gentleman, um, I believe his name is uh, John Quinn, who plays Eddie in Stranger Things, he also was separated from everybody because he was a very big and popular person. Um, I'm surprised they didn't separate Kevin Smith. Danny Trejo was there. Um, they didn't separate him. Uh, Charlie Cox didn't separate him. Um, Vincent DeFario might have butchered that, but the gentleman who plays Wilson Fisk, he was there. A bunch of big names were there, and they weren't separated. It was the whole expedition floor with all the vendors were in, and the celebrity autographs and and the food courts were all in one big area. Now, I've gone to other cons where they've taken the photo ops and the autographs and either put them above or below the floor of the vendors and I wish they would have done that this time. It would have helped a lot with the traffic flow, but they live and they learn. This isn't their first con, of course, they probably had to based off of fire regulations, um, what space and venue that they had for that area. Overall, uh, I think next time they do another convention at the K. Bailey um, Convention Center, uh, depending on who's going, I might pass. If they do it again in Irving, where they had like Matt Smith, aka Damon Targaryen, or the 11th Doctor from Doctor Who, I would definitely go because they had a better crowd control flow and everything like that. Uh, but it overall wasn't bad. Got a line at 11. They ended up having to do a virtual queue to get um, you in line to get your autograph or photo with Rosario Dawson. Um, I wanted to get out of there by 3.30 so I could make it home to Chimmy, but alas, I didn't get in line to meet her till 6.30. Um, and hopefully by now you've seen the clip of me getting my pop sign. Um, it was a very brief interaction. I wanted to get through the line and let everyone else who had been waiting all day, um, get their turn to do a quick, uh, exchange and everything like that. But I got my pop sign and I'll show you it. I gotta get a better hard stack. Um, this is a Funko Pop brand and the bottoms fall out, so don't mind the tape, but here she is. She is signed. But yeah, really cool. I'm super, super excited I got her signature and everything. Um, I gotta get it uh, certified now. I think there was a place there at Fan Expo, I know definitely they had comic book grading services, and I wanted to get some of my comic books graded, but decided to pass, and they were backed up anyways on that. I'm sure they had an area for Funko Pops to get graded as well, but I was just ready to get home. Me and Jazz were on our feet all day, standing in line, waiting, um, wondering when we were going to get this autograph, so I was like, hey, let's just hit the road. I can get it graded another time, so definitely we'll be getting this graded. But, like I said, we uh, got to meet a bunch of, uh, or meet, see a lot of different celebrities. And they had a lot of voice actors there, too. They had almost the entire uh, voice actor team for the Clone Wars there. Um, the gentleman who played, ooh, it escapes me. Captain Rex was there. The voice actor for um, Ahsoka was there. Ashley Edkins. I don't know how to say her last name. We'll put the spelling of her name right here. But Ashley, she was there. She actually walked by whenever I was in line to meet um, Rosario Dawson. And I said hi to her and she asked how my day was. And I was like, great. And I told her I hope she has been having a fantastic day. Um, voice actor as well for Miles Morales was there. They had the uh, Karate Kid as well there. But we also got to meet Jody Benson. Yes, as a big Disney fan, that was fabulous. Um, we have Linda Larkins, who voices Princess Jasmine. I've met Linda Larkins, so we have her autograph on the wall and everything. Jazz wanted to get a signed Funko from Jody Benson and I said how about we do one better because we have a wall 
of artwork of Disney in our guest room that is nothing but Disney head to toe, wall to wall, is nothing but Disney. And I was like, let's add another signed Disney princess piece. So we will put us getting a selfie with Jody right here. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, then we also got her autograph. Now, Jazz, um, she takes forever deciding on stuff. And there were other people waiting on us. And, like, I had already paid. And it was literally just pick the photo you want signed. And don't get me wrong. Like, this is probably the most iconic photo other than the kiss the girl scene from The Little Mermaid. She picked this, and then, like, after she picked it, meet, jo meet Jody and everything, and we were done. She was like, I could have picked a better photo. Ariel is, looks a little weird. And, uh, I don't care. She's singing part of your world. That's all that matters. But here we go. Our signed autograph by Jody Benson. Totally cool. I'm super stoked to get this into a frame and add it to my Disney wall. I now have to rearrange a lot of photos, but that's on me. But I'm totally glad that we have another Disney princess autograph. And check her off. Now I gotta get Paige O'Hara. Also, there was everything from, as you can see, wooden pizza paddles with like Jabba the Hutt on there. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There was so much custom artwork from uh, paintings to charcoals. There was people who create, um, they say comic books, but they're graphic novels, guys, who create graphic novels, who were selling their product. A lot of Funko Pop vendors, anything toys related, fandoms galore, you name it, they had it. And we stopped at a Funko Pop booth. And I am a huge Haunted Mansion fan. Another reason why I went to meet Rosario Dawson, because she's in the new Haunted Mansion movie. You guys definitely go check it out when it comes out. But Madame Leota is my favorite character out of the Haunted Mansion, so I had to get this. And of course, it's got that Disney collectible sticker, and it glows in the dark. I gotta work on getting the rest of these guys now but yeah picked up this bad boy super stoked um the ppg value on this is 55 i picked it up for 60. there were some other funkos that we wanted to go back to and grab but like i said we spent most of the day waiting for rosario so we decided to pass but that's okay there's gonna be other conventions um i totally recommend this is how we plan when we do conventions. We do our first high priority thing as soon as the convention starts, autographs. Now photo ops save specific times, but autographs, if you can get there and do those first, I totally suggest it. That leaves the rest of the day for you to go shopping. They have panels as well. Totally go check out a panel. They had panels on Friday with the whole cast of Clone Wars. Super bummed that I was working when that was going on. They also did um, panels with um, the cast from Daredevil. So Punisher John Berthal was there. Charlie Cox who plays Daredevil and like Vincent, the gentleman who plays Wilson Fisk. They all did a panel. It was great. They had um, Danny Trejo did his panel. They had Bonnie Wright. So she did her panel, like panels galore, people there talking about comic book artistry, being mindful whenever, you know, um, they get stressed when creating art, whether that be writing, making things, everything that you probably want in a convention, they had it. Cosplay, there was a lot of good cosplay. I hope you guys got some good glimpses of some cosplayers in this video. I always thoroughly enjoy looking at them um, and checking out their their costumes and the way they just design stuff from head to toe. How long that takes could take up a year, six months, three months. Shoot, maybe they already had that costume made. But definitely a lot of cool um, 
things going on at Fan Expo, I highly recommend plan a trip, go out to your local cons, get autographs, meet celebrities, interact with people who have the same uh, fandoms as you, whether it be Disney, Star Wars, horror, um, space, you name it anime just get out there and connect it's a great way to spend a weekend just off in another world before you got to get back to reality but i really hope you guys enjoyed the small glimpses we got from fan expo we'll definitely be going back we'll definitely be covering more in the future i hear that there's some going on around the austin and san antonio area and i promised you guys that we'd go back to austin get another side of that so who knows maybe we got something planned like that in the future but until then i hope you enjoyed this little haul from our fan expo now okay guys so we are done today at fan expo what do you think yeah i mean we waited i think the majority in line <laughs> pretty much it was like a disney but inside just waiting for a bunch of autographs and everything but overall it was a great time i know we are ready to get home to chimichanga and uh yeah guys thanks for hanging out with us today hope you enjoyed it stay safe until the next video and we will catch you guys later bye